Hey class, let's look at chapter 3 where we talk about the demand curve, the supply curve, and the market equilibrium. First, what is a market? Market is an interaction between the buyers and the sellers. Next, I'm going to go take a look at the demand curve. When you look at the demand curve, we have a two quadrant graph, two quadrant diagram, where we have price on the vertical axis, we have quantity on the horizontal axis. And this is called a demand schedule, where we have a pair of price and quantity demanded combinations. As I can see, the price is going down and quantity demanded is going up. This is called a law of demand. If you look at this graph here, you would see there is a movement along the D curve or the demand curve. So we are going to have a movement along the demand curve if and only if the price changes. So when price is going down, we have a change in quantity demanded. I have a cause here. The cause is price and I have an effect and my effect is a change in quantity demanded. I use the word quantity demanded here. You'd understand the difference when you look at a shift of the demand curve. Here the demand curve is not changing to the right or to the left. Take a look at the market demand here. I have three different buyers. I'm going to get the market demand by horizontally adding up all the individual demands. I say horizontally adding up because the total quantity demanded is changing the price is staying the same and I have the total quantity demanded on the horizontal axis so this plus signs are just showing me the additions even here the law of demand comes into play because I see the price is going down the total market quantity demanded keeps going up. Now I will explain an increase in demand and a decrease in demand. So increase means the demand curve has shifted to the right and decrease means the demand curve has shifted to the left. They did not really show it to us here. When the demand curve shifts to the right, I say demand has increased, not quantity demanded. Over here, when the demand curve shifts to the left, I say demand has decreased, not quantity demanded. What are the causes here? The causes can be anything other than price of the product. So 
I'm looking at the causes of shift of the demand curve. It is anything other than the price of the product. The causes are outlined here. If the consumer taste and preferences goes up, as for example, I have a sudden craving for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, the demand for peanut butter and also for jelly, that is a separate good altogether, the demand curve for those goods are going to shift to the right. So the demand curve is going to shift to the right if consumer taste and preferences makes them buy more of the good. Changes in number of buyers. If number of buyers are increasing or I just say increases, demand curve will shift to the right. What is a normal good here? Definition when income increases you want to buy more of the good inferior good is when income increases you want to buy less of the good normal good is basically what we buy when our income increases, as for example, fancy meals in a restaurant, then we can say clothes, books, more traveling, all of these are normal goods. Inferior good examples are probably frozen pizza, if your income is increasing you are going to buy less frozen pizza. Public transit can another ex can be another example of inferior good. Also, ramen noodles, another example of inferior good. So, when income is increasing, if the good in question is a normal good, demand curve will shift to the right. Good in question is an inferior good. The demand curve will shift to the left. Complements and substitutes. What are complements? Peanut butter and jelly. Examples of complements. Substitutes, I can say Coke and Pepsi. Examples of substitute goods. How does this work here? If I look at complements here, when the price of peanut butter is going down, the quantity demanded of peanut butter will go up. So this is basically called the law of demand. So when quantity demanded of peanut butter is going up, I will say the demand curve for jelly, this one is going to shift to the right. This is how complementary goods work price of another good went down here which is peanut butter that is the cause and the effect was the demand curve for jelly just shifted to the right that is the effect okay now i'm going to look at substitute goods i'm going to look at how coca-cola and pepsi would work here 
so substitute means you just use or drink or consume one or the other let's say the price of coca-cola is going down that's my cause here then I will see the quantity demanded of coca-cola is going up that's the law of demand people are drinking buying and drinking more coca-cola as a result they are going to buy less of the other soda in ex the example we have is Pepsi so the demand curve for Pepsi this will shift to the left buy less rhymes with shifting to the left and this is basically the effect here so something else some other goods price went down and something else demand curve shifted to the left price of coca-cola went down demand curve for Pepsi shifted to the left this is how substitutes work now take a look at consumer expectations here future prices future income all right i i'm gonna i'm looking at the prices of furnitures right now i see the prices of furnitures are quite low because of the recession and whatnot and i expect the prices will go up in the future so over here i'm comparing the present versus the future so i know the prices will go up in the future but the prices are really down right now so i'm gonna buy more right now and the demand curve is gonna ship to the right in the present when prices go up or when i expect prices to go up the demand curve is going to shift to the left because i just made all my purchases right now future income again i am looking i'm really comparing the present and the future if I expect my future income to go up, what am I going to do right now? So if I expect my future income to go up, you are going to graduate, you are going to get a job. So your current demand for the product will definitely go up. So this is how the shift works. And everything is summarized in this slide number 10 that is all about a change in the demand uh, a change in quantity demanded which we have from this slide and then from here we have a change in demand that's all about the demand curve thank you so much